Fortnite's going back to the chapter on island for a month-long season of nostalgia. At the end of this season, we won't be going into chapter 5, but instead a four-week-long dedicated OG season, something that all Fortnite fans have always asked for. According to leakers, we will start the next season back in chapter 1, season 5, and this mini-season will last for four weeks. Every single week, we'll jump into a new OG chapter 1 season, which will update the loot pools for different weapons and items, the map itself, so OG POIs like Tilted Towers and more, and will finally lead up to a huge live event that will transition us from the OG season to whatever Chapter 5 is going to be. But all of this information has just come from leakers. And thanks to an in-game update, all of the information is pointing towards how this is going to happen and some incredible teasers that will soon be going live in-game. Although these aren't viewable right now, people have managed to access them and find that around the island, there'll be some huge hints letting us know that the OG Fortnite seasons are coming back. Soon in Mega City, one of the billboards will display the sky in the original Chapter 1 season. We all know that every chapter, the Fortnite graphics change a lot, and this guy was only in one chapter, and that was chapter one. But this billboard won't just display a sky, but actually as you go closer to it, we'll play the audio from the OG Fortnite lobby. If that teaser wasn't obvious enough, Frenzy Farm is going to get a huge update as well. Thanks to this early recording, we can see some of the key items directly related to chapter one, season five of Fortnite, will soon appear around Frenzy Farm, including the giant Durburger, which played a huge part in the trailer for Chapter 1 Season 5. This Durburger went from Fortnite Island into our real world, back again into the Fortnite Island, and is now here to let us know that we're going back to that season. You can see the OG Tomato Head, Dusty Diner sign, and the Truck and Oasis sign, all POIs from that OG season. And there's an item amongst all of this rubble that is letting us know exactly how we're going to be getting into that season. We all know that returning to the OG chapter on map is one of the biggest things Fortnite could have ever pulled off, but Fortnite always needs to connect the storyline together to make it make sense that we're going from where we are now, and then back in time suddenly and time traveling is actually the key to the answer here because with the start of this season a literal time machine was added onto the island this season's fort nightmares update added in the time machine into the deepest vault on the fortnite island which is owned by the character from this season called kado thorn he travels throughout Fortnite seasons, collecting super rare items like the mythic goldfish and even Oro's golden skull, which we've seen him do using the time machine with a date that's set atop it. The first time we saw him use his time machine was to travel back to March the 25th, 2020, which is the day that the Oro skin entered the Fortnite item shop and he took his skull and took it back to the island and put it in a vault. This important piece of information, however, lets us know that the date and time on this time machine is exactly where Kado Thorn will be going. And with this week's update, adding the time machine onto the map, the time and date on his machine was changed to 2018. That's right, the date currently says July the 12th, 2018, which is the exact date that Chapter 1, Season 5 started. He wants to go back in time to this season to collect some Thing from it for his own personal collection. One of the biggest things added into Fortnite back then were rifts. Rifts not only connect all of the Fortnite seasons together, they're kind of like ripples in time and space, but in that season we also saw the introduction of Kevin the Q. Thanks to some dialogue with an in-game NPC, we find out that the time machine is actually powered by chrono cells, and these chrono cells are exclusively charged through rifts, which means Kato could be going back to Chapter 1 Season 5 to collect all of the rifts that were on the island to use them to power up his time machine. But whilst he's there, there's also a high probability that he's actually going to try and steal Kevin the Cube, lock him up, and take him for his own personal collection. Now, although Kato Thorne wants to go back to this time period, it's just him that's meant to go through the time machine and collect whatever he wants, and then come back to the Fortnite island as it is in Chapter 4, Season 4. However, if we go ahead and take a look at the teaser, it'll soon be going live in Frenzy Farm. We can see that his time machine is actually broken. And according to leakers, with information that was actually given to them before this season even started, they've been told that that time machine will break, sending 
all of us back in time to chapter one, season five, not just Kato himself. Once we end up there, though, we won't be staying in just season five of chapter one. And we'll actually be leading up to one of the craziest live events ever, which will see us jump into chapter five straight after this OG season. But before I tell you what happens, I want to give a shout out to my incredible gaming headset. Throughout all of the years and seasons of me playing Fortnite, my headset has evolved with me. And this is the latest Turtle Beach Stealth Pro Gaming headset, using the best sound quality I've ever had in a headset, incredible noise cancellation, so no matter if you're playing in the living room with all of your family shouting around you, you can focus and hear the sound in game perfectly. A dual battery system, meaning whilst you have one in your headset, you can have one charging, and with it being completely wireless, you can move freely around as you want, not having to worry about cables. One of my favourite features of this headset is the Bluetooth technology, allowing you to wirelessly connect and listen to all the audio from your gaming console, and then also connect to your mobile device if you're playing with your friends on Discord and listen to them both at the same time. A feature that is just so useful. You connect your headset to the Turtle Beach mobile app to fully customize the sound and audio for your headset, making this headphone the new king of wireless with tons of incredible reviews online saying it's one of the best gaming headsets of all time. I'll leave a link in the description so you can find out more. Perhaps the perfect time to upgrade before the OG Fortnite season arrives. And to understand more of the contents within the OG season, the leaks are letting us know that every week we'll be getting new content and essentially a new season. Starting off with chapter one, season five, we then have another five seasons to fit into four weeks, meaning we'll be speed running through chapter one, season five, six, seven, eight, nine, and X within that four week period. Some of the most notable things that happened in those seasons include obviously tilted towers, the map changing and a whole new ice biome arriving. Let's not forget that it's brought with it a literal monster that we had to fight off with the mecha in a live event. We saw a volcano exploding that wiped out Tilted Towers. We had iconic vehicles like the golf cart, the baller, even snowboards were in there for a little while. And then of course, let's not forget the weaponry, the hunting rifle, the scar, the OG pump shotgun, weapons that people always want to use. And if it was one weapon, I would love to return. And maybe the most hyped weapon from the OG season that has not returned since. The guided missile rocket launcher is one of the most OG weapons that has not returned to the game. And we could potentially see this happening as a part of the new content that will be dropping every week during this OG season. I hadn't thought about this until now, but that also means the chance of OG skins returning to the item shop. Skins that are really, really old now that haven't been in the game since chapter one. The perfect time to pop code Allier into the the item shop if any of these do drop and actually my icon skin is in the item shop right now if you still haven't picked it up and still want to support me and all of this will be leading up to the final week of this mini season which will see us apparently at the end of chapter one season x we all know what that means that was the first ever live event that saw us transition from one chapter into another and it looks like the black hole live event will be repeating itself maybe in the exact same way or maybe slightly different to transition us once again from this og fortnite mini season into whatever the start of chapter five will end up being this og season is set to start around friday november the third and then finish around one month later on december the first transitioning us into whatever chapter five ends up being hit the like button if you're excited for this incredible og season that's coming our way click on screen here to hear some sad news about how Fortnite V-Bucks will be changing. You don't want to miss it, so click on screen for more info. Chapter 1 is coming back!